Hey everyone, welcome back to the Settle YouTube channel. Today we are doing a super fun trend that I saw on TikTok and just had to try. So I actually did try it on TikTok, but I wanted to try it again because I actually really liked how it turned out. So I figured I would film it for YouTube so that we can do a longer form tutorial to kind of show how I did it. But we are recreating this viral lipstick makeup. So she essentially uses lipstick as contour. And personally, as an acne prone, girl I would never use like an actual lipstick that's only meant for lips on my face because I would break out like crazy I have like some active breakouts right now I do have a light foundation on so you can't it's a little bit covered up so that's why I was so excited to try this trend with the subtle beauty lip and cheek product because it's not gonna cause you to break out it's meant for your lips it's meant for your cheeks you can use it on your eyes so I'm really excited and let's dive into it okay so like I mentioned I do already have a light layer of foundation on and then we're gonna add some concealer I have a new concealer pop finally I was like really scraping the barrel with my old one and my shade is 3n okay so I'm just gonna apply some in the corner here just do kind of a tap and drag situation and just applying a little extra concealer where I have my active acne am I the only one that has like super blue veins under my eyes I used to like hate it and feel like I needed to cover it up completely, which would lead me to trying to use really cakey concealer. I finally just realized that it might be one of those things that like I notice more than anyone else. That's why I've been really liking using subtle concealer like for my everyday concealer. I used to sometimes add a second concealer that had a little bit more coverage, but lately I've just been embracing it and I feel like the subtle concealer really hides the perfect amount without making it look cakey and it still looks like real skin. I'm gonna just create like a clean slate on the lid. Okay, now let's get to the video. Let's pop the video up here and we'll watch it together because it's pretty quick. Okay, so pretty on her. Obviously though, she is also extremely gorgeous. Um, she has like what looks like a flawless face with no acne, like no flaws. When I was trying this on TikTok, I was like, I really wanna try this. More as an average everyday look because I feel like the way that she did it was more of a like high-end going out look. Okay, so for this, I'm using this little contour brush from Patrick Ta. You could probably also use your finger, but I just wanted to be a little bit more precise. And then we're using my fave, uh, the new lip and cheek shade, which is Runway to Rose. And this time I wanna make sure that I get enough pigment on here. So she's doing the sides of the nose. Okay, <laughs> guys, this is gonna look crazy. The bridge. She's doing just the very bottom in like a little X or a little V. <laughs> Okay, let's keep going. She does some up here. I feel like this could be a little bit wider. When I tried this for the first time, like I said, I didn't do enough. So I'm gonna try to really be dramatic with it. Okay, so she pretty much does like a cat eye shape. She just kind of follows the lid and then yeah, it does like a cat eye. I feel like I've never liked like pink or red tones on my eyes because to me, it always just looks like I have allergies or like pink eye. But when I did this for TikTok, I actually kind of liked the monochromatic look and it looked better than I had anticipated. So we'll see how I feel about it this time around. See, like I do not look like she does. <laughs> And then she does the cheeks. Obviously we're gonna have to do a little bit wider for that. Okay, and then she does an X on the chin. And then for the lips, I'm gonna use a little bit of a more precise brush because she kind of basically emphasizes the top. Oh wait, okay, I forgot. She also goes underneath the eye. Oh my gosh, I literally look like a clown, you guys. This is why we gotta try these trends because sometimes like they look so cute on the person doing them and then you try them yourself and you're like, what the heck? 
Okay, now we gotta blend it all out. To blend it out, I'm gonna use this brush and I'm just gonna start up here at the top. I hope I didn't leave this on too long. Ideally, you would probably blend as you go. Okay, blend the cheeks out. And then blending this part out, I'm gonna use the other end of this to top brush. So it's basically just like using lipstick as contour, which again, as I'm blending out, looks better than expected. Okay, and then just blending the lips out. I gotta blend this just a little more. And I think I just need a little bit more on the actual cheeks. Now to just clean this up a little bit, I'm gonna add just like a little bit of concealer here to the top of the nose as well. Okay, and then I think as the finishing touch, I'm gonna add some lip gloss. And then I think to accentuate this look, I'm gonna add just like a little bit of highlighter in champagne. And then I think adding it to the middle of the eyes will look really good too, just to kind of make it a little more glowy. Okay, and then just a teensy bit of shine control. And there you have it, a final makeup look using only lip and cheek product. I think this looks super pretty. I would probably just add a little bit of bronzer. So actually let me do that real quick. A little bit of bronzer in Leche and I'm gonna use the big fluffy brush just to make it very subtle. And then I would probably add the teeniest bit to the nose too. All right, and there you have it, the final look. I think this is really pretty. It's really fun if you're like on vacation. It kind of reminds me of just that very glowy sun-kissed look. I actually feel like the reddish pink eye turned out really pretty. I especially liked it with the highlighter added. And then of course, I just added a little bit of bronzer because I am very pale. I actually really love how this turned out. I think especially like wearing pink, the pink nails, it's giving Elle Woods super pretty. If you wanna see more tutorials like this, make sure to follow us on TikTok, subscribe here on YouTube. We post at least once a week and head to subtlebeauty.com if you want to build your stack, you can fully customize it. Thanks for watching, bye guys. Mm -hmm.